Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. You're not Rachel. Yep, it's Rachel in her natural form. Can't believe I'm showing my naked face to the internet right now. I've been seeing this ABG catfishing makeup trend going around for a while, so I thought I'd hop on the bandwagon myself and show you guys the before and the after. If you've been with my channel for a while, you've probably seen me usually like this or like this. So seeing me without makeup right now is probably a bigger shock to you than the makeup itself. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Yeah, so before I actually get to the makeup, I'm just gonna first fix up my eyebrows because I haven't shaped them in like months. Not that I even actually have any eyebrows. So I'm just putting on this cute little headband thing to keep my hair out of the way. So first thing is I'm going to pop in some colored lens and these ones are from TTDI. They were kind enough to send me some to try out. So I'll be using this bluish, brownish, hazelous color. It's really pretty and I need two hands because my eyes are too small. Oh, these are so pretty. It's like blue on the outside and like light brown and hazily on the inside. So I'll be using the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, the matte version. So if you guys want to hear a funny story, when I was in college and when I would go to like bars or clubs and they would ask for my ID, I actually sometimes get like denied. They would be like, they would look at my ID and be like, uh, this is not you because when I was taking my driver's license photo, I was like really unprepared. I was wearing like zero makeup and obviously when I go out to the club and stuff, I'm wearing like a full face of makeup and that's how different I look without makeup. It wouldn't even let me in the bars. They would usually ask me like, do you have a second piece of ID? So now I always bring like my health card with me when I go out so that I have like two pieces of IDs in case they ask me. So for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the one that like everyone uses and it's in the shade of Vanilla. I think this is like an acne scar or something from like 10 years ago and it's always been there. I don't know how to get rid of it so I have to like put concealer on it every time. This is the most important part and the feature that changes my entire face and it's my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pro Made. I can literally make my eyebrows like any shape I want because I don't even really have any eyebrows so sometimes when I see people and like that I know in real life and just see them outside on the street they don't even recognize recognize me if I'm not wearing makeup. Like one time I was waving at my friend and then she was looking at me like, uh, who's this random person waving at me? And she didn't even recognize me until she got to like probably like five meters away from me because I had no makeup on that day. And usually I'm wearing like at least my eyebrows and without my eyebrows, I think I'm pretty unrecognizable. Look at the difference. I hate it when people ask me like, oh, what did you do to your eyebrows? Did you like over pluck them? Or did you like shave it off? Like why would you over pluck them and then draw them back? Like, no, <laughs> why the f would I do that? Like obviously that I was like born this way. And that's a common thing with a lot of Asian girls too, that they don't have like a lot of eyebrow hair. So their eyebrow hairs are really light. Like for me, I have both like really light hairs and I don't just don't have a lot of hairs in general. And it's not just my eyebrows, like my actual hair too. It's really thin and I don't have that much. That's why it kind of looks like it's like flat all the time. Damn, this is thick. I look a little bit more normal now, like a normal person with um, normal features. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup and I'll be using pretty much everything I'm gonna be using is from this like Tarte palette because it's all neutrals and I wanna keep the color palette of my face pretty much all neutrals. I don't really know what I'm doing either. I kind of just like 
put whatever colors I want on my eyelid. Most of my makeup looks turn out to be the same anyway because I like to wear like really big false eyelashes and that pretty much covers all of my eyeshadow so it doesn't really matter what I'm doing right now with my eyeshadow. Okay, good enough. Can you even see that? Does that even do anything? I have monolids and the problem with monolids is that like you can see like more eyelid when I'm like this but then once like you look at me straight on my eyelids pretty much like fold over each other and you can barely see it and you can see that a lot with like eyeliner you know like those like memes where people put like really thick eyeliner on and then once they like open their eyes to look straight ahead it's like all gone yeah that's basically me and now I'm gonna go in with a darker brown a little it's kind of like a warm brown Now I'm wondering if I even chose the right contact lens because my makeup is like kind of like an orangey brown and then my eyes are like blue so I don't know. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow is to take like a black eyeshadow. I like to draw like my eyeshadow slash like liner really wide so that it kind of makes my eyes look like longer and wider because my eyes are kind of like close together anyway and plus I'll be wearing like really big eyelashes so this will look more proportioned. Another important thing that kind of changes my features a lot is um, using double eyelid tape. So I'll be using double eyelid tape to create a fold and to make my eyes look a little bigger. See the difference that makes? It looks like I'm going like this. Now I'm just gonna go in and draw my eyeliner I'm using the Kaja eyeliner. This is the one that comes in their like Kaja wink stamp kit, but um, I'm not gonna be using the wink stamp because that like wing is like really small so it's good if you're like going for like a natural makeup look but I'm not going for that today so I'm just gonna draw my own wing. It's a big ass wing. Finishing touch to my eyes. I'll be putting on big ass lashes and all my lashes are from Velour. So I'll be using some Velour lashes. I'm kind of debating between Fluff and Dolled Up and Girl You Crazy. This is like the pair that I usually wear in most of my YouTube videos, but it's like really big. It covers most of my makeup, so I don't know if I want to like... Why are you gonna use these? These are like a little bit more like wispy, so probably like my eyeshadow will show through more. Velour tweezers. I'm just gonna put it on just to see what it might look like and then decide. I kind of like these. You can kind of like see the fold of my double eyelids more. I'm gonna try the other one. <laughs> these are huge. Now this is like the pair I usually wear. Putting it on is comparison. Okay, yeah, this one or this one? This is Girl You Crazy, and this is Fluff and Dolled Up. These ones are actually mink lashes, and these ones are silk lashes. I think I'm gonna go with these ones, actually, just because you can see like my eyeshadow through it a little more. Yeah. So my favorite lash glue is the Duo Lash Adhesive in the black version. I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds. 
And I can't find my eyelash curler, so I'm just gonna skip that step. I mean, it's not like I really have any eyelashes to start with, so it doesn't really make a difference. You can't even see I have eyelashes, so it's fine. There you go. But yeah, basically double eyelid tape and lashes make a huge difference for my monolids. I literally look like a completely different person, just like this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like work on the rest of my face. Let's start with like contour, bronzer. I'm just gonna stick with the same palette. Oh, this is so pigmented. Oops. <laughs> I felt like way too much on my brush. It's okay, it's okay, I'll just blend it out. It's not blending. Blend, blend, blend. Good enough. Okay, I'm gonna use like the more ashier shade desert to d contour my jawline. So for my blush, I'm going to go for like a more mauve tone. So I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Blush in the shade Foxglove. And this was actually sent to me. This blush is actually quite pigmented, so I'm only picking up like a little bit on my brush. And lastly, for my face, I'm going in with highlighter, and then this is the Holy Grail of highlighters, the Becca Champagne Pop. Should I try contouring my nose? I'm really bad at contouring my nose. I don't really know how to do it. Oh, why not? Since we're like just going for the full look, I might as well try contouring my nose. Okay, if this turns out really badly, then I'm gonna regret it. This is not looking promising. This looks scary. Time to blend. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend this out with a sponge. Okay, cool. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna pop on some lipstick and I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Quilt Lipstick in the shade Ashton. I think I literally used this like once before. Probably also to take a photo because um, I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks like for regular everyday wear because they tend to like dry out my lips, but to take like photos and stuff, I'm okay with it. For some reason I thought this lipstick was more nude and not as like dark or pinky. Made a wrong choice here. So here's my finished transformation. So I actually ended up swapping out that lipstick for a lighter lipstick and yeah, here's the finished look and a better lighting. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you found my transformation shocking, then please give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you guys are interested in my contacts, they are from TTDY and I have a discount code for you guys, which I'll put down below. They're having their sale right now and you can also use a discount code to like stack on top of the sale. So yeah. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Burning hollow hopes in an oak tree. You're telling him the secrets you told me.